People are still getting free. People are being free. People are getting set free. People are getting delivered. People are receiving their miracles, healing, signs, and wonders. And it's still happening now. Still happening now. people who have problems with deliverance, casting out demons, are the religious people. You know, um, the religious people are the same, the ones, the religious Pharisees that is, and I'm not talking about religious like you are a born again believer religious, but I'm talking about religious in a, in a, in a spirit that looks at that and says, you know what? We can't do that. You can't be showing people demons being manifested. You can't be showing people that, you know, that, that people have demons that are on the church staff or the worship team. You can't do that. What will that do? People will gossip. People, it'll expose their sin. It'll, it'll do something to that church. It'll, it'll bring gossip. It'll bring this. It'll bring that. You know, the funny thing is, the only one that wants you to believe that lie and wants you to hide the sin and worry about those things is the devil, the devil himself. The same devil that has that religious spirit that Jesus called the Pharisees snakes and vipers. You know, the religious Pharisees were the only ones looking for an opportunity to tell Jesus and catch him in something that he was not in and he was innocently doing you know he was with a pure heart and pure motive trying to deliver people trying to do something good trying to bring out those evil spirits trying to deliver them from these demonic forces that they were dealing with these battles spirit of depression spirit of uh of darkness these things are not from God these things are from the devil and and if it's something that offends you and makes you go oh no I can't allow that to happen in my church because it might expose them you know that should be a concern for you know just just the fact that you would ask that and wor be worried about that it's not called wisdom. That's called, I'm worried, I'm concerned, I have fear. I have fear that somebody will find out the sin that is creeping in my church or my people 
or your people or this church or that church. You know, there should be no fear. Because fear comes from who? Satan himself. God says, cast out all fear, all doubt, all unbelief. Cast out all that gossip. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what other people are going to think or say. The only person that worries about those things is Satan himself. You remember Adam and Eve when they, when they were in the garden, right? And God and, and God was not with them. And who was there? The serpent, right? And so the serpent, the snake, wanted them to believe the lie. And wanted them to, to not say nothing and, and make everything was secretive. Shh tell God. God, don't, don't, shh. you know, God, God does not, that's what he wanted you to believe. God doesn't want you to know the truth. God doesn't want you to be like him. That's what Satan wants you to think, that Satan wants you to have a secret sin and keep it all secrecy and don't, don't let anybody know because what will they say? What will they do if they find out? That you have a spirit of depression. If they find out that you have a spirit of pornography. If they find out that you were involved. Whatever. You know, whatever it might be. If you have if you have some demons in you, oh my goodness, what will they say? You know what? I don't remember or recall anywhere in the scriptures. In Mark chapter 1, where Jesus goes in the synagogue, in the church, and he's casting out a demon. I don't remember him saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, let's do this privately. You guys have a, a, a closed room we can go to. You guys have a, oh, wait a minute, let's go in that, let's go in that office right there. Let's go in the sanctuary. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I think he was more concerned about just casting out and delivering people setting them free. And you know what? The funny thing is, if you ask anybody that's been set free, ask anybody that's been delivered, demons have been casted out, ask them if they were worried and concerned about what people might think. Ask them that. Ask them if they were worried about gossip, if they were worried about somebody saying something about them. I, I doubt not. Most of the people that I go in the streets, in the public area, and demons start manifesting, they are not concerned about anybody gossiping. Anybody. They could care less. All they want is to be set free. You know, when you're really desiring freedom from these demons, freedom, freedom from evil spirits, you are not concerned about what other people are thinking. You are not concerned about Peter, Paul, Vicky, Ricky, and Bobby, Susie, and whoever else. You're not concerned about nobody. All you're concerned about is, God, deliver me. Deliver me from these demons. Deliver me. I don't want them. I don't want a single one. Get it out of me. Whatever this demon is, you know, whatever it is that you are fighting, it could be a spirit of depression. It could be, uh, uh, you know, alcohol, drugs. It could be porn. Oh my goodness. Who would have thunk? Oh no. What if they find out? I'm involved in, you know what? Who cares? How about the church? The people in the church should be, have pure love and say, you know what? And, 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 and the pastor of that church to say, you know what, if anybody gossips about any of my staff or anybody, I beg to you not. Don't come back. Don't, don't, don't think that that's acceptable. We are not accepting that kind of stuff. We are here to deliver people. We are here to set the captives free. Come on. We are here to do some of God's Jesus, Jesus business, kingdom business. And this is not a this is not a, 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 a worldly business. You know what I mean? This ain't a worldly business. This is about God's kingdom business. And we're here to set the captives free. We ain't here to talk about Joe, Susie, Sally. We hear about Jesus' business. That's what it should be about. So anyways, it's just something that's been on my heart. Or something I, I just pray. I just pray. I pray that, you know, 
I pray that you don't believe the devil's lies and deception. That he would tell you, you know, what if, what would they say? You know, guess what? When you walk into the church, you should have a spirit. There should be a spirit, and that should be the spirit of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. Now, if it's not in that place, you might want to go to another church. And it should be a place of comfort, of, you know what? I love you, brother, sister. You're dealing with these things, but guess what? I love you. You know what I mean? And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that my heart goes out to you. None of us are better than the other, right? None of us are better than the other. May the Lord just bless you guys. I pray that what I spoke was, you know, something relevant, something important, something that would help you and uh, something that would make you think, make you think before you speak, make you think, hey, do I have the right heart? Do I, do I have the wrong heart? What's going on? Wait, am I crazy? You know, why are these people openly casting out demons and I'm uncomfortable with it? What is it? Is it because my church ain't doing it? Is it because maybe, maybe, just maybe, maybe, maybe I'm jealous or maybe I'm concerned. But why am I concerned about them? What What is it of my business? Is it maybe because my sin? Maybe, maybe my hidden sin will be exposed through them. I don't know. I don't know. There's, these are the questions that you need to answer. And maybe these thoughts might going to go through you and say, let me, let me knock on my head. Let me check my heart. Let me check myself. I wonder why I'm worried about this. Why am I so concerned about people getting demons casted out and, and especially the church staff and all this stuff? You know, why do I care? Why do I, what is it my concern? What, what does it affect me about them? Oh, am I one of those members? Oh, maybe you might be one of those church members. I don't know. Maybe you might be one of those church leaders that might be exposed and you don't want to be exposed. Brother and sister in Christ, I beg you to say, question this and say, you know what, Lord? Am I being like the Pharisees? Am I concerned and trying to figure out, trying to find some crafty method of maybe these people are doing it by the spirit of Be Beelzebub, like they told Jesus, and they were trying to catch him when he was casting out demons? They being the religious Pharisees. You know, those are questions that you should ask yourself and say, you know what, why am I so concerned? What does it concern me? that I don't want to expose or hide or I don't I want to do this in private what is it what is it what does it matter whether you, well, so are are the church leaders the church staff and the church worshipers are those people more important than the church members oh ouch are they more oh, oh are the church members just lowly people are they just like peons you know are they peasants and the church leaders are like oh my god these are the these are the more important people no we're all a body we're all the same importance i'm you're just much more important than i am <laughs> you know it's funny because jesus was the first one to say no i don't want you to wash my feet let me wash your feet isn't that what a true leader should be like? Humble and say, you know what? I'm not going to wait for you to wash my feet. Jesus said, no, home Skittles, step aside. What you doing? Nah, John, let me, let me, nah, nah, nah let me just get, give me the water. I'm going to wash. I'm going to show you what a true leader does. Isn't that funny? Isn't that crazy? But that's not what the church, that's not what the business world and that's not what the church world, and I'm talking about the church world as in, you know, the church world that we have in America. That's not what they teach. That's not the common thing. They, oh, no, no, you got to put the preacher and the evangelist and all the worship leaders up on a pedestal. And all the church members, they're just peons. That's not good, guys. You know, that's not good. I, I got to tell you, we are not better. I'm not better than you. 
I'm not better than the church member. They're not peons. I'm one of them. We are in this together. God just brought a different measure of faith in every single one of us. And it's when we work salvation with fear and trembling. We are, you know, we are on different stages. Yes, but we're not better than the other. It's almost like your children.